Hi guys, Devinitas here, and in this video, I'll tell you everything you need to know about how to use LVUI. This is by far my favorite UI that I've used playing World of Warcraft. And I had a little bit of trouble learning how to use it when I first got it. So hopefully this video helps you, and uh, yeah, maybe you'll have a lot easier time with it than I did. Alright, well first things first. Uh, in order to open up the LVUI control panel, you type in slash ELVUI. This opens up your whole database of things that you can do, and there's a lot of sorts of things you can do. We'll go down the list here. Um, general. Uh, this is a neat feature. You can uh, select it to auto greed and disenchant things, auto scale. Um, to uh, accept invites from guild and friends, um, enable the loot frames, the chat bubbles, bottom panel, you see these panels up here, these black panels, they uh, just for cosmetic, uh, there's a whole bunch of other stuff here too, um, let's see, The thing that I really liked that I didn't know about it was you can set the color of the hue and everything back here. Like these, you can set these colors just by clicking on value color and doing it that and it changes the name of your uh, channels. Uh, your backdrop color, yeah, I'll change it to show you. So you can just do something like that. See that changes this. I don't like it like that. And if you want to get really more technical with it, you can go here and use this. Just gonna see how that changes. Kind of like it, just like that. Okay. Um. Action bars. This is your basic uh, you know, action bar functions. One through five, and then plus your pet bars, stands, and cooldowns. Uh, cooldown text. Um, for my for my action bars, I like having the alpha at 40% because I don't like it. You see how bright it is at 100%? I don't like that. It's too bright. You don't need it to be that bright. I hardly look at my buttons anyway. If you, if you like that also, you can set it to whatever you like. I have mine that's set at 40%. It's uh, nice and faded and it looks pretty awesome. Of course, you have your buttons per row, button sizes, backdrop. This is pretty cool if you don't want like a background on it. You see how this one has a background on it and this one doesn't? It's backdrop. See how that changed? I like to have it off because it looks cleaner that way. I like my UI looking clean. I don't like it looking all like stupid and shit. Actually doesn't look too bad. I don't know. I might leave it. Mouse over. This is pretty cool. Um, I have it for this bar. You only, it only uh, becomes visible when you mouse over it. So if you don't, if you have a bar that you normally don't, you know, use a lot, you can just and you want it to be invisible. You don't want it to clutter your screen. Set it to mouse over, and then uh, as soon as you mouse over it, it becomes visible. So that's pretty cool. All right, as far as your uh, bags go. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, yeah. Uh, buffs and debuffs, chat, d data text. This is also pretty cool. You see these uh, um, text right here? Like they got my guild, durability, friends, uh, system, time, and bag space. Um, all you gotta do is go into data text and. Uh, see it says left or right left and right so you say this is system that's system so say I want to change that to expertise then you get your expertise rating and whatever whatever it is that you want now what the hell did I have there before Yeah. 
so it's also pretty cool and you got your fonts here you can change the fonts of it which is also really awesome um... nameplates I don't know I don't really mess with this one a whole lot you, know, you got your skins, tooltip you can um... it's just you know awesome tooltip options where you can set it up manually so you can put it whatever you want or you can use the default whichever one you like and unit frames this is also pretty cool um... you can pretty much customize any unit frame from this section right here say uh... player okay that's mine you and i want to like maybe change the width or the height in this or if i want to do like my target frame which would, which would be like this right here just uh, you can change anything you want. You can change the power, name, portrait itself, buffs, debuffs, task bar, combo bar, aura bar, and rate icon. Now, aura, um, aura bars, that's these right here. And I don't have a need to have them activated on my targets, also. So I can just like target uh, aura bar. See how it's disabled? You can enable it if you want it to, but I don't see a reason. Um, debuffs, if you don't want any debuffs showing up on your uh, target, you can, you know, uncheck enable that. Uh, see, so it's, it's really, it's really quite awesome. And you can do that, you can, there's a whole uh, list of things here. Now I'm going to show you something that I just learned today that I, well, was, you know, pissing me off. Um, if you're wondering how to change the looks of your bar, itself and like the raid and party bars all you gotta do is go to unit frames and go to textures and then go to outline I think they, I think uh, the default one it looks like that and that looks pretty shitty so I looked through all of these and outline is my favorite <clears throat> then of course you have your profiles filters and credits Make sure you save it. Uh, and then to key bind your stuff, because you can key bind them through using LVI, all you would do is go to uh, action bars in key bind mode. And then all you gotta do is uh, follow directions, hover over your mouse over anything, and press a button to key bind it. And then you save it, or then you discard it. If you want to cancel keybind, you mouse over it and hit escape. In order to move all of your bars around, you type in slash forward slash move UI. Okay, and then this right here, you can select what you want to move so it's easier. Where you can just do all, raid 10 man frames, 25 man frames, 40 man frames, action bars only do all and you can move them anything a anywhere you want this UI is totally customizable which I love um, if you're wondering how I got my SCADA to match my LVI uh, this is how I did it interface add-ons SCADA um, you just go in here and you customize everything, title bar, window, and then you can customize the way it looks, the, uh, the color, and everything, just by in here. And I made it look like my LVY because it makes it look cleaner that way. I think so. And I've got a lot of compliments on this UI. Um, I will give you a download in the description where you can go to download the latest version as a patch 5.2. Uh, one more thing as well, if you go into Elv UI, and if you want, um, you might see my bars how like the way I have it with it's like 3D. It's not like a still picture of my character. Uh, you go into Unit Frames, Player, and you go down to uh, Portrait. Then you want to hit Enable and then hit overlay make sure this is on 3D and um, you can set your camera scale too um, how far you want your character away and everything like that and then you can also do that um, 
for your target also. But you can't do that for your target to target. I don't know why. You know, but you shouldn't really need to do it anyway. For your target to target, you don't really need it. Um, so yeah. Also, if you have any questions about LVY, I pretty much know like everything about it because I've been using it for a while, and I know how hard it is to, you know, find somebody who knows a lot about it because you want to customize it and you want to feel good about your UI. So all you have to do is you can either contact me in game. I'm on Ice Crown Horde. My name is Divinitas. D I V I N I T A S. You can uh, contact me in game, or you can leave a comment to this video, and I will reply to it as soon as I can, and give you an answer. And uh, yeah, thanks guys. If you like this video, please uh, comment, rate, and subscribe for future videos. Thank you.